Democrat, that's what it's all about. The entire industry is taking huge leaps forward. The game is played in real time. StarCraft II is one of the truest tests of skill that exists for gamers. This was a game that Blizzard made many years ago. This should be interesting. This is the best ever. <laughs> Blizzard was really cool, and it's awesome that the people that work there love the game they've created. Now it's time to look into the world of professional competition. To do that, I'm headed to Red Bull's North American headquarters to check out their event training grounds. This is where some lucky athletes are qualified for the season finale, Battlegrounds, in New York City. Welcome to the Red Bull training grounds, where we're gonna have three days of action. Eight of the top pros are joined here at the Santa Monica office of Red Bull. In a few short hours, eight professional StarCraft II players will be battling each other for over $8,000 in prize money, and most importantly, a shot at competing in one of the biggest tournaments of the year, Battlegrounds in New York City. This is a chance to try out new techniques, work out the kinks, and even walk away with low cash. This is about training and preparation. I'll be hanging around here all weekend long, getting to know the players and the staff as they work through this event. People are still getting set up, and I see Rob Simpson over here, who runs the event. Let's grab a couple words with him, Rob. Tell us, what is Red Bull Training Grounds? Red Bull Training Grounds is all about getting eight top athletes, both from Europe, North America, Korea, to get together and train. We got over $8,000 up for grabs here. The goal being to give players as much practice as possible. Once we've established these top four players, they'll come out Sunday. We've got a $5,000 prize pool there. We'll have the semifinals and the grand finals. The winner's gonna walk away with $2,500 and an invite to Battlegrounds later this year. It's gonna be our marquee tournament happening a little bit later this year. Once again, gonna be StarCraft II. We're gonna have $50,000 in prize money on the line, so it's gonna be a huge event. We're hoping to take all of our experiences from running live concerts and all the other really cool culture events that Red Bull does and bring that to esports. We have players from all across the world. These are top-notch players, am I correct? Yeah, man, we got a lot of superstars, actually. What does it take to be a top StarCraft player? More than it takes to be a good human. <laughs> The, the amount of dedication that it takes to play StarCraft is, is absolutely incredible. I love the fact that they come out here, separate themselves from friends and family, just to train and get better at the game. Thank you very much for your time, Rob. We're going to have three days of action, a tournament focused on training to try to get these players as leveled up as possible. But it's unclear who's ahead or behind right now. Right over here, we have Husky. I'm going to interrupt him from Reddit or Facebook or whatever he's All doing right now. Up. What, in your opinion, makes these guys some of the top StarCraft players in the world? Because a lot of the players that are here today have been here since kind of the beginning of StarCraft. And it's one of the things in StarCraft that's very underestimated is kind of the experience and the exposure. Number one, it's very difficult to be good at StarCraft. They're playing head to head. They're actually in the same booth facing each other. So being able to overcome their nerves is going to be important. The fact that uh, they've been around for so long is going to be important. And also, there's a lot of money on the line as well. But I think the reason that there's so much depth in StarCraft is number one, the maps affect gameplay hugely. The layout of the map completely changes how the game is played. That's one good thing about it as well is that you'll have extremely successful aggressive players who try and just win the game right away and they have great success with it and you have extremely successful, you know, late game players. There's rarely a strategy that, you know, wins 90% of the time or anything like that. It's usually a lot closer to 50-50. We're talking about one versus one game yep. now. What are the biggest differences? All the pressure is just on one person. It's completely up to them to come up with good builds. It's up to them to be in a good mindset. And most of the time that they're practicing, it's not practicing teamwork. It's practicing you're just beating the other guy. Whoever's, <laughs> you know, playing their best game is going to win. Thank you very much for your time. Of course, man. Looking forward good to watching this you. entire weekend. So. All right. This is where the money matches take place, and I have the most famous StarCraft commentator with me right now, That's, Mr. Day9. I, I appreciate that introduction. <laughs> Thank you, Walshie. Tell me, what's different about Red Bull Training Grounds? You and I both played competitively. <laughs> you and I both choked. I don't know if we both choked. Okay, fine. You and I have both been total clutch badasses before, <laughs> but of course, there's that there's that horrible feeling of choke that literally any competitor has felt, yep. where you go and you do a mistake at the tournament, and you would never make it home. Some guys have traveled as far as Korea. How does that affect their playing ability? I mean, playing when you're really awake and focused, when you're really tired at times you're not used to, will all have really different impacts on your play. It's important to, one, figure out ways to control that, but most importantly, figure out ways to battle against it when it does happen. Am I comfortable playing in hot weather, cold weather, with sounds distracting me? Uh, what if I make a mistake and I start getting distracted by my own thoughts? How do I turn that off? But these aren't things that are exactly game focused, but in a tournament, or the, or the difference between winning and losing. This, I feel like, is a really good example of the sort of training here, because you'll note that uh, this is this is Grubby, who's yep. playing here to get that feeling. He's the number one most famous <laughs> world in the world, <laughs> worldwide, yeah. Warcraft 3 player as well. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, like Grubby, huge superstar. This is, you know, the official tournament booth where, you know, a lot of the 
big mattress get played. I notice how he likes his screen elevated. He must have either some books under there, wrap yeah, of that, I mean, just so every all those little factors. Yeah, control, like knowing what you can control and what you can't. Just actually feel yeah. at ease. Well, these are all weird techniques that don't seem directly related to the game itself, but every competitor knows these are like super, 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 super important things to know. If you can eliminate any possible distraction, then you're gonna be able to be more at ease and be more focused. Well, thank you very much for your time. You are just the number one world's best interviewer, hands down. Well, training grounds is underway. Make sure to check out the next episode of This Is Esports, where we will meet some of the pros, find out who's good enough to secure that spot in Red Bull Battlegrounds.